Hello friends. From this video tutorial, we have start learn how can we make chat application in Codeigniter framework by using Ajax jQuery. We have already published video tutorial on chat application in PHP script, but there are lots of viewers has requested us to make chat application in Codeigniter framework also. For this we will make improved chat application in Codeigniter framework. And here we will make Facebook style chat application in Codeigniter framework. In this part, we will describe you basic feature of this chat application, which technology we have used for build this application. So for build this chat application, we will use Codeigniter framework and MySQL database for server side operation and for client side operation we have used jQuery and Ajax. This is our Codeigniter chat database. All chat application data will be stored in this database and in this database we have four table like chat messages chat request, chat user and login data. In chat user data, we will store user data like login open authentic ID, first name, last name, email address, profile picture, created at and updated at table column. For login into this chat application, we will use Google login account, which tutorial we have already discussed in last video. So we will use that Google login into this system. So we will not separately make login here for this chat application. So, when user login using Google account, then data will store in this table. And we will use this data as profile data in this chat application. Second table is chat request table. When one want to chat with other user, then one has send request other user, then that data will be stored in this table. In this table, there is six table column like chat request ID, sender ID, receiver id chat request status receiver c and sender c when other user is accept request then both user can chat with each other third table is login data table in this table there is three table column like login data id user id and last activity table column when user login using Google account, then login time will be stored in this table, and last activity column time will be updated on regular basis for chat user is online or not. And last table is chat messages table, and in this table there is six table column like chat messages ID, sender ID, receiver ID, chat message text, chat message status and chat messages data time. Chat messages will store in this table. Now we have described you basic functionality of this table. So first we want to login into chat application. So here we can see login using Google account image on web page. So we have click on image. After click on image, page has been redirect to Google login page. So here we have enter Google login details and click on login button. After click on login button, Google has process login details. And again page has been redirect to chat application and on web page we can see welcome user message on web page.
So, this is home page of chat application. Next we want to see functionality of this chat application. Here we can see nothing on web page. Only below middle of page. We can see chat box with send button which is disable. This is because we have not add any user for chat. So first we want to add user into this chat application for chat. So here we can see search user box in which we can see text box with search button. So here we can search user for send chat request. So in chat application, we have enter Martin. So it will display all user in whose Martin word has come. And after this we have click on search button. After click on search button, then below we can see search result in John Martin user with send request button. Now for send chat request to this user, we have to click on send request button. After click on send request button, here button color and button text has been changed. That means chat request has been sent to that user. Now we have login into John Martin account. So here we have enter Google account login credential and click on login button. Here we have login into John Martin account and here we can see welcome user message and in notification area we can see Adonis Martin chat request we can see here. For accept chat request we have click on accept button and click on accept button now both user Adonis Martin and John Martin can chat with each other. Here in Adonis Martin account, John Martin has been come under chat with user area. And here we can see green round, which display John Martin is online. Now we have go to John Martin account. And here we can see Adonis Martin has come under chat with user area. And here we can see green round. That means Adonis Martin is online. Next we want to chat. How can we chat with each other? So here we have in John Martin account. And now we want to chat with Adonis Martin account. So we have simply click on Adonis Martin user. After click on Adonis Martin, then here send button has been enabled. That means when we have click on any user, then after send button will be enabled and we can chat with that user. Now we have type simple hi message in chat box and click on send button. So after click on send button, chat box has been clear and message has been come under chat history area with timestamp. Next, we have go to Adonis Martin and here we can see one notification has been displayed with John Martin name. That means John Martin has send message to him. For see message. We have click on John Martin name and after click on name here we can see chat message under chat message area and here notification has been removed. This is basic feature of this chat application which we will build in this tutorial series using Codeigniter framework with Ajax Jkari. We will add some other features in this chat application also. From next tutorial, we will start discussing this chat application tutorial by integrating last tutorial login using Google account into this chat application for login into chat system.